With the increase in data exchange in the current tech era, we require proper protocols and functions to maintain data exchange. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. To start with, we will understand what is a protocol. Then continue with the types of protocol available in a network channel. Then we will start with what is the sliding protocol. Then look into the working procedure of sliding window protocol and ending a session with difference between stop and wait protocol and sliding window protocol. Let's begin with the first heading that is what is a protocol. As we know, in a networking concept, protocols refers to the rules and instructions that governs the data transmission between different network models and devices in a communication channel. The data transmitted using protocols is easily handled and is reliable to use as well as it provides a secure channel for the data to be transmitted. Now let's move on to the different types of protocols available in a network channel. The protocols available in a network channel can be divided into two different types, noiseless channels and noisy channels, where the noise part refers to any external interference, data error or duplicate transmission in the network channel. Furthermore, noiseless channels and noisy channels can be divided into subdivisions. Let's take a look at the noiseless channels first. Noiseless channels can be divided into two types simplest type and stop and wait type whereas noisy channels are divided into three subdivisions stop and wait arq go back and arq selective repeat arq in the noisy channel go back and arq and selective repeat arq are the ones that apply the sliding window protocol for data transmission over the network channel now let's look into some information regarding sliding window protocol. To begin with, the sliding window protocol is a technique that allows the share of multiple data frames in a network channel, where the number of frames shared is determined by the window size assigned to the network channel. Also, the frames sent during transmission are assigned with a sequence number for efficient frame transmission in the communication channel. Till this point in the video, we have already learned about the definition of what is the sliding window protocol. Now let's look into the working steps of the sliding window protocol. To begin with, we have a sender site and a receiver site in the network channel. Then we require the frames where each frame is given a sequence number. For this example, we are using 0 to 8 which means a total of 9 frames are available at the sender side. Then using the window size, we determine the number of frames that can be shared at an instance. For example, we'll be using 3 as a window size for this example. Let's start with sending the first frame that is 0 to the receiver side. After the frame is sent, a sliding window appears on the number of frames. Now let's move on to the next, that is frame 1. The point to be noted is, before receiving any acknowledgement, we have to send all the frames that are available according to the window size. That is, for this example, the window size is 3. That means we have to send 3 frames before we receive any acknowledgement from the receiver side. Let's send the last frame, that is frame 2. Now we have to wait for the receiver side to send the acknowledgement signal to the sender side before we can send the next frame. Now that we have shared the maximum number of frames 
the receiver end will share the acknowledgement signal for frame 0 with the sender side. After this acknowledgement is received by the sender side, we can share the next frame in the list, that is frame 3. After the frame 3 has been sent, see the positioning of the sliding window. The sliding window now changes from 0, 1, 2 to 1, 2, 1, 3 frame. This positioning of the sliding window represents that 0th frame has already been acknowledged by the receiver side, whereas the 3rd frame is sent for acknowledgement from the receiver side by the sender side. And similarly, we have to do the same pattern for the next two frames, that is frame number 1 and frame number 2. Now, the sender side will receive the acknowledgement for frame 1 from the receiver side. And we can send frame 4 from the sender side to the receiver side. Now, see the movement of the sliding window. The sliding window changes from 1, 2 and 3 frame number to 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, we can move on to the last frame. Now let's draw some simple conclusion from all the working steps we have seen so far. To begin with, frame number 1 and 0 represents the acknowledged frames, whereas the frames within the sliding window represents the frames that are waiting acknowledgement whereas the remaining frames 5, 6, 7 and 8 are not yet shared with the receiver side. Now let's move on to the next heading for the session. Difference between stop and wait protocol and sliding window protocol. The first comparison is on the basis of working mechanism, where the stop and wait protocol is designed to send the data frame at a single time and wait for the receiver to send the acknowledgement to share the next frame. As for the sliding window protocol, sender can send multiple frames simultaneously and then wait for the corresponding acknowledgement from the receiver end. Let's move on to the next comparison that is based on the window size. On the basis of window size, the stop and wait protocol is always fixed at 1. As for sliding window protocol, as we saw in earlier slides, it varies according to the scenario in the network channel. Let's take a look at some other comparisons too. The next comparison is based on efficiency and time delay. As comparison on this basis, the stop and wait protocol is efficiently low and suffers from more time delay. As for sliding window protocol, the efficiency is higher than the stop and wait protocol, which provides lower time delay during data transmission. Let's move on to the last comparison. Sorting and transmission of data. For stop and wait protocol, sorting is not required and it applies half duplex system for data transmission. As for sliding window protocol, we require sorting for better efficiency and is full duplex in nature. With this, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.